Hi, my name is Jose Herrera. And I'm Steven Sainz. And today we're going to talk to you about Microsoft Quarterly Report, the month ended of September 30th, 2012. As of September 30th, 2012, Microsoft Corporation announced quarterly revenue of $16.01 billion for the quarter ended September 30th, 2012. Operating income, net income, and dilated earnings per share for the quarter were $5.31 billion, $4.47 billion, and 53 cents per share. These financial results reflect the rearrangement of $1.36 billion of revenue and 13 cents of diluted earnings per share. Let's take a look at the graphic depicting quarterly earnings. As you can see here, the graphic depicts the quarterly report for September 30th, 2012. The first topic we have in 2011, as reported GAAP, the revenue is 17,372, and these are in millions. 7,203 operating income and 68 cents diluted EPS. The next topic we have is 2012, as reported GAAP. The revenue with, is $16,008. 5,308 for the operating income and 53 cents diluted EPS. Revenue is negative 8%, operating income is negative 26%, and diluted EPS is negative 22%. For revenue deferred for Windows Upgrade Offer, Windows 8 pre-sales, and Office Offer consists of the revenue being $1,356 or in millions, operating income of 1,356 and diluted EPS of 13 cents. 2012 as adjusted non-GAP consists of revenue being 17,364 million, 16,664 operating income and 65 cents diluted EPS. For the percentage change, we have 0% for revenue, operating income is negative 7%, and diluted EPS is negative 4%. The server and tools business reported $4.55 billion in first quarter revenue, an 8% increase from the prior year period, which was driven by double-digit revenue growth in SQL Server and more than 20% growth and system center revenue. In September, Microsoft continued to improve its system offerings with the launch of Windows Server 2012. The Microsoft Business Division posted $5.50 billion in first quarter revenue, a 2% decrease from the prior year period. Adjusting for the impact of the office offer, Microsoft Business Division non-GAAP revenue increased 1% for the first quarter. Microsoft productivity server offerings included Link, SharePoint, and Exchange. Continued double digit revenue growth. Peter Klein, Chief Financial Officer at Microsoft, had this to say about this report. While enterprise revenue continued to grow and we, and we managed our expenses, the slowdown in PC demand ahead of the Windows 8 launch resulted in a decline in operating income. Multi-year licensing revenue grew double digits across Windows, Server and Tools, and Microsoft Business Division products as businesses commit to our technology roadmap. The Windows and Windows Live Division posted revenue of $3.24 billion, a 33% decrease from the prior year period. Adjusting for the impact of the Windows upgrade offer and pre-sales of Windows 8 to OEMs prior to general availability, Windows division non-GAAP revenue declined 9% for this first quarter. The online services division reported revenue of $697 million, a 9% increase from that prior year period. Online advertising revenue grew 15% driven primarily by an increase in revenue per search. The Entertainment and De Devices Division posted revenue of $1.95 billion, a decrease of 1% from the prior year. 
Xbox continues to be the top selling console in the US where it now has 49% market share Windows Phone 8 will launch this fall with an expanded array of products, prices, carriers and markets. Skype continued its rapid growth and now has over 280 million users. Microsoft expects the fiscal year 2013 operating expenses will be that of 30.3 billion to 30.9 billion. And this concludes our video presentation of Microsoft's quarterly report. Thank you for watching.